Hi, I'm Chris Martirano with American Music and Sound and our great friends here at Sweetwater Sound. And it's my great privilege to show you the Nord Stage 3. The Nord Stage 3 is the latest in the Nord Stage line. As you remember, Nord had produced the Nord Stage and then the Nord Stage 2 and the 2EX. The Nord Stage 3 goes much further. I'm going to be digging into the features and telling you all of the new features that Nord has brought to this great instrument. First, I want to tell you a little something about the overall design of the Nord Stage 3. The Nord Stage 3 is like having three separate instruments and a rack of effects processors all under one hood. The first engine is an organ engine. It allows you to do tone wheel organs, uh, vintage organs, pipe organs. In fact, pipe organs are new to the Nord Stage line. Then you have the piano engine that does electroacoustic mechanical instruments like Rhodes, Whirlies, clavinets, acoustic pianos, and things of that nature. Lots of improvements there. They doubled the polyphony from 60 voices to 120. They doubled the memory from one gigabyte to two gigabytes using their lossless data compression format. Then you have this great synth section, which is using the Nord A1 synthesizer engine. They doubled the polyphony practically. It used to be 18 voices, it's now 34. And they actually increased the memory from 380 megabytes to 480 megabytes. Again, using a lossless data compression scheme. So you can pack a ton of things in here. The synthesizer section plays back samples as well. And their sample library is always growing. It's very extensive. After these three engines, you're presented with multiple effects processors, which you can assign to any of the engines, which give you all of the great kind of capabilities such as panning, phasing, chorusing, flanging, and a lot of other cool things like auto-wah. They also have EQ, and the EQ section now features high-pass and low-pass 24 dB resonant filters, which can be swept in real time using Nord's morphing technique. You can do that from the controllers, either the wheel, aftertouch, or a CC pedal. And finally, you have reverb and compression. The reverb now can be assigned separately to the A and B panel. So you can have different spatial effects, such as a room or a hall, on different panels, the A and B. So when you combine them, each one of them maintains their own separate spatial effect. Let's listen to some of the sounds. That's really what you're watching for. I'm going to start with a 3D recorded piano using a dummy head in the player position. And this is called the Royal Grand. Because of the expanded piano memory, now having two gigabytes, again, I have to enforce the fact that it's using a lossless data compression scheme, so you can pack a lot of sound in there. You now can load the best of the best pianos Nord has on their site, 
and they have a ton of library that's always growing. Right now, this is what's called the extra large version of the Royal Grand. They provide large, medium, and smaller versions as well. So the user can download the instruments that they want from the piano library into the piano section here and use just what you want. Maybe you don't want harpsichords in your instrument, or maybe you only need two clavinets instead of six, or maybe only two Rhodes pianos instead of maybe seven of them. So you customize and load in just what you want from their library. And again, that library is free to users that own the stage. I'm going to move on to a couple other sounds in the piano section. One of them is a new upright. I'm going to apply some of the EQ now that's provided in the piano section. This is new to the Nord Stage 3. Those of you that are familiar with the older Nord Stage models know that you have an EQ section at the end of your effects chain that you can use on any of the instruments. But now there's a specific EQ right for the piano engine. And these give you three different EQs. One pushes up the top end called bright, one pushes up the mids and gives you a nice boost to the mid range, and one is called soft and brings up a little more of the bottom. So I'm going to play this piano and just step through the EQs. I'll shut off the phaser and let you just hear what the EQs are doing to the sound. This is great because now you can reserve your EQ for other things that you might want to apply it to, such as the synthesizer or the organ. I'm using the Nord Triple Pedal right now, which is an option for the Nord Stage 3. The Nord Triple Pedal provides a continuous controller sustain, allowing me to do half damper and also allowing me to lift up the dampers and hear the tone of the dampers lifting up and down. Let's listen to that right now. This makes for a very pianistic experience. Again, I'm not going to play some huge piece of music to let you hear it. I want you to just hear the nuances, so I'm playing some simple patterns just so you can hear them. I'm going to step over to the organ. The organ now has had some improvements as well. The organ, they've added two pipe organs to. I'll just play one of the pipe organ patches. And I'll be using the controls that are draw bars normally used for tone wheel organ, but I'll be using them to change stops. I also have a preset button that allows me to toggle between two different registrations set with these controls. That's just a simple example of one of the pipe organs, very basic. I've dressed it up in a preset now, and you can hear where I'm using a cathedral organ on a swell pedal, also bringing that in behind some flute pipe sound.
So those of you that are familiar with the tone wheel organs found on Nord products, you know they're amazing. So here's just an example of one of the tone wheel organ settings that I've set up with percussion, vibrato, and I put it through a rotary speaker emulation, which is of a 122 cabinet Leslie speaker. Let's talk about the synthesizer section. The Nord Stage 3 really made a major upgrade when they added the A1 engine. You have multiple kinds of synthesis possible. There's three different FM algorithms. You also have super waves like super saws that are detuned. You also have the simple waveforms, saw, square, and sine. Then you have these phonemes, O, E, A, I, O, U, that you can use to make vocal sounds. And then you have other waveforms that are modeled after acoustic instruments or electric instruments like pianos. There are also the ability to play samples back through this entire synth engine. Some of the other cool things you can do are add the great filters that they provide, including a ladder filter, very reminiscent of an analog synthesizer. Then they have new filters, which is a combination of low pass and high pass that were not found on the Nord Stage 2 either. You've, to wrap all this up and then make it even more powerful, they've added a number of things to the synthesizer engine, the ability to take samples and now mix in additional waveforms from the synthesizer in a single voice. So I'm just going to play through some patches from the synthesizer and make some changes on the fly and you'll get an idea of the power of the synthesizer section. You can see a lot of sound shaping on the fly, and I'm just using some simple preset that I started with. There is a lot of depth. I'll play some patches now where you can see what's created when you spend some time with the synth section.
You might remember the old DX7 and also the old D50. Well, of course, those sounds you can also make in here using some of the alternative synth methods here. I made a kind of a D50 patch. I'm going to show a simple example using the resonant filters now that exist in the EQ section. They didn't exist in previous models of the Nord Stage. So now I actually have hooked up a CC pedal to move the filters so that I can simulate a wah-wah effect on a Fender Rhodes. As you remember in the older Nord Stage 2 model, you had to use an auto wah function. There was no way to manually do it from a pedal. So here's a cool patch I put together that's fun. There are a lot of samples loaded into the sample section now. As I said, the memory has increased up to 480 megabytes using their lossless data compression format. Right now I'm going to play kind of a rock patch I put together using a tone wheel organ in the right hand, and then I've layered a distorted guitar with a kind of an octave muted bass. So the end result is something like this. Nord has provided a very cool crossfade capability now when you're changing from one zone to another. You now have four zones per panel, so imagine having eight different splits. Obviously, you're going to hear the hard edge between where one sound ends and the other one begins. Now, if you use their crossfade algorithm, you get a very smooth transition. When I play in a solo gig in a club, I might just want to do a walking bass with an acoustic sound and maybe a piano in the right hand, and I always run into that hard wall, the transition between where the piano stops and the bass starts. Sometimes when I'm in a moment and I'm playing a run, I might actually cross over from the piano and hit a bass note, and it sounds really odd. So here's what we have, a very hard split point now I've set at the F below middle C. If I want to change the split point, it's easy. You just hold the split button down and you can see in the display where the split point is and you can move it around. The LED will tell you where it exists. If I want to change now to how kind, what kind of a crossfade do I want, they provide two types. One is called a small and one is called a large. Right now I'll leave no crossfade. So we get So if you were playing in the, a piece of music and you were playing you just crossed into a bass for a second. So now I'm going to add their crossfade and I'll put on a large amount and then I'll play through the transition and you can hear the LED turns red telling you that you're in a crossfade.
that same example. much more musical. When you're doing this with really uh, sounds that are just not anything alike, it actually very much smooths out that transition and allows you again to have a little bit of freedom should you cross into the area where the split point has been designated. Nord has brought some very cool utilities to the Nord Stage 3. They added this what they call song mode. Those of you that might have seen a Nord Electro 5 series, this was the first time it was introduced. And what a song is, the way they describe it, is not a piece of music or a sequence, but rather an assortment of the five buttons on the front panel. So I can group all of my patches into groups of five and then call that a song, give it a title. So if I'm thinking at a gig, I have to play a song and it might have an intro sound, it might have a chorus and a verse and a bridge. I can put those specific sounds on a button and then at the touch of a button, I can change to that part of the song. So you have these songs you can create and then they have a list where you can organize the songs. Again, in simple terms for the end user, it's a way to organize your programs for your live performance. You don't need a computer and you don't need a librarian utility to do it. You can do it all on the local instrument, which is very cool. I'm gonna show you one of the features I love is that I can literally change entire panel configurations smoothly without an interruption to the effects. This is a great improvement on the Nord Stage 3. So I'm gonna pick a very big synth sound and then I'm gonna step into, maybe I'll start with an orchestral sound instead. You haven't heard much orchestral yet. So you can hear how smooth those transitions were. I'm going to show you again, if you've never seen the morphing technology in a Nord, I'm going to now assign the drawbar organ to a CC pedal I'm using and change the drawbars in this same program I was just playing. And you'll see that I can get a world of different colors out of it. To do it is very simple. I just double button press the control pedal. And then I move the drawbars to where I want them. I can turn up some higher ones, reduce the lower ones, and then you can actually see the display reflecting the changes that I made. So as I'm playing, we can hear the sound change as I move the pedal. There are literally tons of parameters I can morph at the same time from a single control. Things like your resonant filter cutoff, your resonance amounts, things like even effects depths uh, or EQ. Really, really powerful stuff. So your hands stay on the keyboard, which is what you want to be doing. Nord also provided a great utility allowing me to copy and paste one panel from one location into another. So when I'm making a combination using two panels, I can kind of grab patches that I like and combine them. So I'm gonna start with one program I was using before, a big synth patch, and I'm gonna add a, uh, another program to it. I'll copy and paste and you can see the procedure. So right now I'm gonna step over and pick something from, let's see. From here, I'm gonna pick a, uh, a pad sound. So here's what we're listening to. I wanna copy that, I hold the copy button and touch that actual panel A. The screen tells me it's been copied. 
and now I go to the sound that I want to paste it into. So I want to paste it to the B location. So I'm going to hold Shift, Paste, and B. And it says pasted. So now I have the two sounds I had bef that I was looking to combine. Panel B. That's the sound I just copied and pasted. And here's the original it's going in with. So now I'm going to combine them. I'm going to turn down the uh, analog synthesizer patch. So now I've pasted in the panel that I liked along with this analog synthesizer found at a different location. So now I have a combination between the two of them. The analog program and the program that I just pasted in. I'll combine them by pressing both panel buttons and I can further modify this now as a performance. This makes it fast and easy to build performances using individual panel settings. Thank you for watching. This is the Nord Stage 3, an awesome instrument packed with tons of features. If you want to know more about the Nord Stage 3, make sure to contact your sales engineer at Sweetwater. They're the experts and they can help you. I love the instrument. I'm Chris Martirano and I really appreciate you watching. Mm -hmm.